Welcome back to yet another episode of Open Sad. With all them fancy shapes and stuff. Stuffity stuffs. Today's episode is actually a continuation of the last episode all about four noobs at Gozifin Floor. It was uh, a little too ambitious and didn't get it done. Sorry. Let's go get it done now. Let's, f let's finish this. So, sneak preview. Why? What? No, 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 no. I need those slashes. I need those slashes. I just don't want any more than those slashes. There, there. All better. No, don't do it again. Why are those slashes always all weird? Why can't they just be the three rows that we've... Uh, well, anyway... You have the chair here from last time. I, I, I prettied it up a little because it needed prettying. Need prettying. So, anyway, remember how I said last time that if and a floor, which are kind of kind of hard to go over without a project. So that's why we're starting out with the chair open this time, and we're gonna get into if and floor part of it since we did the four and echo last time so let's so to do that let's make a module do module scallop and we're gonna need to see this module scallop so we can go up here in our render section and do exclamation point scallop and now we get nothing but module scallop which currently is a whole lot of nothing so do scallop. So the point of this, you know, let's bring back the chair real quick. So the point of this module is to difference it from these modules so we get a stylistic effect. Like just, just adding prettiness to this. That, that's the whole point. But we don't want, so, so the, I'm thinking we'll start with a scallop. Which we can do by just differencing a bunch of cylinder, or not cylinders, spheres from these arms and stuff. But we don't want any more spheres than it takes to get a scallop on this arm. So we can do that by putting in a floor. So let's call this, make a variable y max equals floor. And now floor, you type floor and put it every all of your stuff that you're going to be doing in parentheses and what it does is we copy and paste the length of this here real quick what it does is it takes whatever operations are in these parentheses and it rounds down it, it, that, that's all it does it's nothing amazing it just rounds down but it's really nice because you don't end up getting like a half of a sphere or something weird like that but Anyway, it, 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 it's pretty simple. That's all it is. We can... Let's, let's make our scallop now. Let's see. Let's do a for, for loop. Y equals... Not T. I don't want T. I want Y. Oh, actually, I do want T. It sounds pretty good right now. Maybe I'll brew some up after we get done filming. So y equals zero. Let's do iteration of five up to y max, which is going to be, like we said, the maximum number of spheres we can put on this. And then we can rotate this all by something on the y-axis. So zero. Let's do y times ninety. Let's see what that looks like. And then translate. Now by putting... Th this is something you don't usually want to do. Because when you put a translate under a rotate, it also rotates your translate. So that'll make it to where... Let's do... So we currently have it going up on the, fi uh, on the Z axis going by 5. And also on the Y axis going by Y, but... Since we're rotating around the y-axis, the y value is not going to change direction any. But the z value will... Oh, I forgot a, a bracket up here. 
but the Z value will because it'll rotate which you usually don't want but it's really nice because when you do that you get a spiral because see the first time the Z rotate the Z goes up and it rotates 9 degrees and goes out and then 9 degrees and goes down and you get this which is pretty cool isn't that cool and tips and tricks and almost hey that looks like DNA almost like one helix of it yeah shwanky so anyway now we have our module scallop that we can difference from this chair arm well we have half of it hmm do you feel like doing the other yeah let's just do the other half we can copy and paste most of it oh duh. I didn't mean to cut it yay and now we're also going to need a Z-Max. That sounds like a car. I mean, there is a car. It's called something. I, I'm not going to say the name for fear of copyright or something like that, but I think you know what it is. Anyway, copy this, and now we have Z-Max. And that's going to be the length of that vertical, mostly vertical thing we have on that and we're also going to need to rotate it by five mm. ah, copy and paste copy and paste that's all we ever do here we need to do nothing but copy and paste we don't need no stinking copy and paste also we're going to make that z by z max and rotate it switch out the five with the z and now uh, rotate, rotate, that's what we're doing. Rotate this by the five degrees so that it matches. The... Yes, Maggie, yes, someone is at the door. Must you bark at them? Please ignore that. What's, what's wrong? Okay. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> that looks funny. I don't know why, but that looks funny. <laughs> okay, so what happened here? What? Uh, that's that's. We're gonna need to translate that. So, but let's fix this. Unknown variable y. Oh, as I forgot to change that to z. That needs to be. Z. Oh, whoa. Ooh, that looks cool. That looks very intriguing. Still not what we want though. So I think our rotate, yeah, you know, rotating around the y axis, we're gonna need to want to rotate around the z axis. So copy and paste. Gotta copy and paste. There we go. That looks much better. Then we're gonna have to translate this over because it's in the wrong spot. And then translate this by gonna need to translate it down by the um I think just translate know what we have convenient variables right here like y max and z max so the z is zero the y is going to be y max and the z is going to be z max and that should make it all nice and pretty oh whoa negative z max hey there we go perfect so now we have the entire module scallop, which should scallop the entire thing. Wait a minute. To get rid of the entire thing, because there's no space in there. How do we fix it? Oh, hey. Why don't we translate? Let's see. Our arms are log radius around. So why don't we just translate them by 5 plus log radius divided by 2? Hey, that'll work. That works perfectly. Plus log radius divided by 2. Okay, now we have our completed scallop module. So now if we come up here to our module arm, we can do a difference. Now actually, we want to cut that out. And we want to put the difference down here, I think. We'll see if I'm wrong in a second. Difference. And we can put in this, and then 
We're gonna need to union that. We can tr no, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, because we translate this and then we trans. Oh well, we'll just do it twice. So yeah. No, wait, wait, we want the difference there. I don't know. So let's separate that a little. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we difference that, and then we difference our scallop. And then we do it again on this module. Needs then the translate, so it translate the scallop as well. So that it translates the scallop. No, I want to enter, not slash. Difference. And then our parenthesis or parentheses and bracket. Control I to make that pretty again. And scallop. Gotta close off the difference and get rid of this little debug we got up here. Whoa. What happened? No. No. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not right. What's going on here? Compilation failed again. Oh! I forgot to close off that difference. Hey, it works now. Okay, so there's our scallop module on that. Now let's 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 do it on this one. Fix it up so we have it both. Different difference. Two F's, not two I's. Different difference. 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 And that needs to be under the translate. So cut and paste. Cut and paste. Cut and paste. What will we do without cut and paste? Scallop. Ah! Forgot to close off the difference again. Whoa. Um, that's not right. That's not right at all. Hashtag. Not the... What? Hashtag that. Oh, I see what's going on here. I get it. I get it now. Put our difference in the wrong spot. So now, now, now let's let's cut that out. Got to fix it. Truly. And we're going to need to make this part a union. Union. So that we don't end up differencing this log from this log. So we got to union those two logs together. And then we got to pretty it up. Control I. And now close off the difference. Is it already closed? Whoa. 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 What happened? What happened? What happened there? What's going on? What's going on? This looks fairly strange. Okay, so apparently our translate got all funkyized here when we unioned that. Let's try getting rid of that union again. I find, whoa. Okay, so now we're differencing the cylinder from that cylinder. Very strange. Let's 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 figure it out together. So our Z translate is off. Minus five times. Oh, hey. Right? Is that gonna be it? By five? No, no, that's not it. I think maybe if we just translate it down by the... Let's just translate down by the height of these. Chair height minus log number times log number minus 25. And cut and paste. Gotta cut and paste. And negative. Negative, 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 negative. Where's that comma there? It is negative. Whoa. Huh. 
Huh. This is fairly strange. Okay, so it's not going to be chair height. It's going to be chair height. Yight. Chair height. Minus chair height? No. Chair height minus log number times log number. Parentheses around that. Plus five. <sighs> Let's see, how much time have I taken being an idiot? About fifteen minutes. Hmm. Let's just cheat and make it pretty. Plus 55, plus 60, plus 56, plus 56, plus 60. Hey, plus 60, that looks pretty-ish. Mm, let's get rid of this hashtag on the scallop module. Plus 65, plus 64. There we go. Yeah, you're not supposed to do it like that, but oh well. Got a, got a time constraint here. So now we union this. Sorry for that delay. We have technical difficulties. So union that. Oh, hey. Loading. Rendering polygon. Oh, I must have hit F6. There we go. Oh, that looks... It's not quite what we were expecting. I think we got to translate our scallop over this one over a little more. Let's see. Yeah, we gotta let's move it back. So, translating it by Z max by Y max minus ten minus five minus four three four. And the back of that looks in front of that. Just me, or does that seem a little, a little big? Oh well, let's get rid of that hashtag. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So now we have our fur and stuff. But let's say we don't want this pattern on here, because that ended up being rather ugly. I don't know. I, I don't like it. But, but but someone else does, so let's not get rid of it. So to do that, we're going to need to add a parameter up here in our module arm. What did I do? What, what happened? What happened? Okay. Up here in our module arm up here. So add a parameter style. And then we can say if style equals, make sure it's two equals, to make sure it's checking that it means equals, and then you can put a quote to say, to make a string variable, which is a variable of words, and don't worry about that. So if style equals scallop, then, in parenthesis, open our uh, brace, and then close it off, and now, it's not there anymore, but we can go up to this arm and say, this arm style equals scallop. And now, huh? Style, style, style equals scallop. Style equals, huh? What, what, what? S-T-Y-L-E, S. What's S-T-L-Y-E? Oh, hey, I spelled it wrong down here. State. Style. There we go. So now, you can see one of them, style equals scallop, which happens to be this one, and we have our scalloping on it. And this one, style equals nothing, because we didn't say anything. So, it doesn't difference our style module. And you can do that with hundreds of modules. We can make as many styling modules down here as we want. 
do like scallop checkering zebra stripes and just keep putting in if statement says style equals zebra stripes zebra stripes and it makes zebra stripes I don't know why you'd want zebra stripes but you can make zebra stripes and make it optional which that's, that's really nice like for 3d printing because you could just say if someone wants well, if someone wants zebra stripes on their chair and just make a zebra stripe module and say the style equals zebra stripes for this one and then it prints out a chair with zebra stripes yeah I should really stop saying zebra stripes that's, that's actually kind of a tongue twister you say it really fast zebra strips zebra strips like sounds like zebra strips like strips of zebra well that, that, that's about it too is there anything else we're supposed to go over today was we supposed to go over if and floor yeah that's that's it that's it oh wait there's one more thing I forgot go over but I don't know how to put it into this module so you know we're just gonna save that then open up a new one open start screen so that we have all this fancy stuff because open yeah, doesn't usually open up so the one I forgot <laughs> I should have probably put this in last episode, but it's a different f kind of for loop. It's an intersection for. Now, it works the same as a for loop, only instead of rendering it all, it only renders where everything intersects. So you can say something like, uh, let's see, r equals bracket 3, <laughs> just put in random numbers, 7 and 24 there we go but I think that might actually be round and anyway we can do that and rotate this by um, r r times 2 just putting in random stuff right now I did not plan this out at all uh, cube cube um r r times 2 um r divided by 2 and then close that off got to open it first and what 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 oh semicolon there we go warning Ignoring in intersection, section, section. There, you see. Out of all that, we get this little weird nubby thingy. If we get rid of this intersection, let's cut it out so we can put it back. You can see that we have all of these cubes. But if we put that intersection back in, we only get this 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 little nub. That's because that's the only place where all of these cubes intersect. So let's say this times, let's make that a little, a little more obvious to see this. So more ground gets cut. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, hey, that's why. Center equals true. There, now they're all in the center. Now we put that intersection back in. Control V. Not shift V, control V. And now we get this. Which, well, you could probably make that without the intersection, but uh, like I said, the intersection 4 is sort of like the intersection that we went over before, because I, I really have never found a use for intersection 4, because, I mean, that's just a cube. But the more you know... Didn't I say that last time for the normal intersection? Huh. I'm really original. Well, anyway. So, we went over the mostly useless intersection 4. If you guys come up with something that actually uses that in a practical sense, please 
send me like the video because I'm really interested in what this is good for, but I just can't find it. And then um, we also went over we went over floor and echo. We went over floor and if those two very very useful modules. And that's about it. So I guess I'll see you guys later. Mm, bye.